Today I'm going to show you how to create blurred edges for your video like this in two minutes. Open up Premiere, get a clip in the timeline and let's get to it. Firstly, right click on your project panel and create an adjustment layer. Drag this into your timeline and make it the same length as your clip. Next, navigate to the effects panel and search for fast blur. Drag this over to the adjustment layer and go onto the effects controls. First thing we want to change is the blurriness. Change this to around 60. Next we want to change the blur dimensions. Change this from horizontal and vertical to just horizontal. This will depend on your shot though, so try out all three variations. But for my clip, horizontal looks best. And finally, make sure we tick repeat edge pixels as this will clean up our image. Okay, so now we have the blur, but we want to keep it to the edges. So next, we want to go up to opacity and click on the ellipse mask. Drag each corner of the mask to the edge of the frame. Change the mask feather to 250 to feather the edges. Invert it and there we go. I'll just on and off it so you can see what we've done. And press play, see it in action. Looks good. So that's blurred edges. But if you want to go for an extra dreamy look, we can add another step. Let's put another adjustment layer on top of everything we've done already. This time in the effects panel, we're going to search for channel blur. Drag this onto the adjustment layer. I like to add a blurriness of five for red, five for green, 50 for blue, and five for alpha. But play around with this, as this will depend on your taste and video. Tick repeat edge pixels again, and change our blur dimensions to horizontal. And same again, we want to create an ellipse mask, drag the corners to the edge of the frame, feather it by 250, invert it, and we're good to go. I'll on and off it so you can see what's happening. We're actually creating a bit of a fake aberration in the corners, where the color is shifting and blurring. And I think it's a really nice effect to create that dreamy look. Now just do them both together, and as you can see, it's a very subtle effect. If you wanted it to be more drastic, increase the numbers, see what looks best. And there we are, super easy. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.